Hello everybody, this is Blade78 with a review of ViewSonic G-Tab. And on this, this is a uh, tablet that is made by ViewSonic. It came with a standard um, interface on it uh, that covered the Android 2.2 uh, operating system. But anyway, um, this is a, a custom ROM that is not based off the original uh, firmware 3588. Uh, it was another firmware 23 something, but anyway, 3588 was one I was using, and I've updated this one to 1.2 base ROM 4349. Okay. I'm not going to go into specifics of on how to do this, but there's ways to add a custom ROM to your uh, tablet. But this one involves uh, a technique using uh, called MB Flash, where you have to download certain files in a folder to help. Um, yeah, it works in a process where you plug up your uh, tablet to the computer and it automatically. Um, you press power and the minus key to initiate the uh, to be able to be detected by the U uh, SB plugin, and it will help you. Then you click on MB Flash um, software, and then it began wiping your phone and installing the original software. Okay, but anyway, that's another thing. If you want to learn how to flash your uh, tab, you just go to websites like uh, SlateDroid.com or XDA Developers. Okay. And they also has disclaimers that you should follow that one is by running the firmware mod, you agree that there is the possibility that you may break your device and uh, neither the, uh, the creator of this ROM or Slate Droid, nor ViewSonic are responsible for anything that happened to your uh, tablet. And they highly recommend that you learn to use and set up MB Flash prior to running any mods to, uh, as you may require that as, as an emergency backout. It will help you uh, restore your tablet. You must learn how to uh, MB Flash. Okay. I'm not going to go into uh, wait, uh, details of how to install that. You have to research and find out for yourself. But I just want to show you a few things about the ROM. Okay. With this ROM, it comes with uh, five home screens. Okay. With this being first. One. Okay, let me start from the end. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And if you may notice, this um, wallpaper didn't move. It's uh, fixed, and it's fixed on that. And uh, also, you may notice these icons down here didn't move. It's also fixed on the ROM. It cannot be removed. They, uh, it's by design. He created it, and it stays there. They are mail, internet, gallery, camera, music, settings, and market. They all work for uh, whatever, uh, what they're intended to do. They go to settings, and it goes to music, go to camera, etc., etc. But anyway, this ROM is pretty smooth. And uh, to show you, this is, uh, it is what I said was Brilliant Corners ROM. Is let's go to settings. About. Okay. As you can see, the model number it has as Brilliant Corners V1.1.1. Okay. Android version 2.2. Okay. This is a rooted tablet. Okay. This one does not have Clockwork Mod on it, so you can't use Run Manager. 
only thing you can use run manager for is like maybe to fix the permissions if you so require to do so. It has a standard recovery. You can uh, drag the update and recovery folder into the root of your phone and then uh, you know power off. Power back on the standard uh, recovery will pick up the uh, update and then install it. And uh, some cases it may go into a boot loop but um, there's a way to uh, fix that is to go back into the standard recovery and just wipe uh, uh, the data and cache in it uh, should stop all that. Okay, I want to show you the uh, the animation of uh, Brilliant Corners. Let me just simply power it off or reboot. I'll just do a reboot. It's kind of fast reboot. Reboot. Um, got the ViewSonic. Uh, see the different screen. As you can see, you got this Brilliant Corners. Sorry about the uh, the camera showing up in the uh, video, but that's because of the I'm filming at nighttime. But anyway, as you can see, it's brilliant corners. It's gonna load. It take a few, just a few seconds. There you go. You got the three birds right there. Redesigned uh, blue screen is pretty cool. Okay. Let's back off a little bit. Got a standard lock screen. You got the clock right there. In the date. Okay. All right, it's back on the screen. Like I said, it's very smooth. And I'm gonna go to the uh, internet to show you screen if it load on. Okay, it's loaded in. Okay. It's still, the screen is still, uh, the system's still powering up. That's why it's so slow. Okay. But, uh, type in a website and see how it loads fast. Let's see. It's a little slow right now. It's connected to Wi-Fi, but it's but it loaded up fairly fast. Okay, let's go to a more uh, flash content site. Let's look in. Right, go back here. loading there we go it's loading up load the screen pretty much fast okay got you got pinch to zoom got flash as you can see there press it It'll load up okay come on there we go as you see it loaded up it's got flash Let's go to uh, YouTube, see how does it play videos from the web. A lot of times, the original software I had, it uh, go to your built-in movie player. Okay, let's find one video to look at. Let's see these girls. Let's see. Loading. As you can see, the, uh, it plays the videos real good, like it is on TV. That's that's pretty cool, ain't it? Okay. Uh, uh, feature on here, uh, music. I like how it uh, renders the music player. Let's find a song to play. See that? 
it shows that uh, your wall, current wallpaper, whatever it wallpaper it is, is going to show it back to your screen. This also shows it here. Yeah, I better stop that because I don't want no copyright infringements or whatever about music. I don't know. That. But anyway, it uh, shows on top of your uh, uh, screen. Nice interface. Let me try another song. It just it goes on top of your uh, screen. Nice display. I like that player built how it's played built in on this here uh, ROM. Okay. It came with uh, some uh, apps on here. They didn't have a whole bunch of bloatware installed in there. I downloaded and installed much of these apps. It came with uh, a few of these. Most of uh, it came with the uh, task manager here. It came with um, the file manager, iFile, here manager here. And it came with the uh, navigation places, talk. Google Voice, every all the Google stuff it, that came with it, but it didn't it didn't have Facebook or Twitter on it like a lot of uh, users try to put already put it on there, and as you can see it has super user which is rooted. I got the uh, uh, titanium backup on here. Okay, a terminal emulator here if I want to do any stuff by it. Um, you got the run manager and everything. Hot reboot if you want to do a fast reboot of your tablet. Okay. You got everything else in Google search on there. Okay. Let me. Find the nearest McDonald's. Okay. It found the nearest McDonald's. Yeah, everything you want to find here. Let's see. Everything's, it works. Everything works on here as it should. Standard app drawer. All the widgets work on it pretty nicely. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, I like custom uh, ROMs. I was bored with the uh, standard uh, firmware on here. But anyways, it's very responsive. It's Everything works on it. You have the standard gallery. Got the camera. The standard Android camera. Okay, see? You can see a little reflection of this. Got the camera there. Okay. Got the video, too. But anyway, this is a uh, nice smooth room. And. It's uh, available on uh, the SlateDroid.com website. And like I said, read everything there is on that site. I joined that site. That's where I learned. And uh, um, this has been a, a brief review of the ViewSonic GTAB using Brilliant Corners ROM based off the 1.24349 firmware. Thank you for watching.